Welcome everybody back to Fishing Planet and today we're going to be trying to catch some carp. Now we did catch one yesterday, but it wasn't that big. So officially we haven't really caught a big carp. Alright, we're finally getting a hit here. I wouldn't exactly say it's a carp. I mean, it could be, but I kind of doubt it. Nonetheless, we're going to see what it is here. Yeah, that is definitely not a carp. It's a sunfish. It's actually a black crappie, which is pretty cool. First crappie. But uh, yeah, I am not finding any carp. We're getting a bump here. What's that rod? <laughs> These fish are all tiny compared to this rod. It literally just reels them in. Another black crappie. Oh, oh, bobber's under, bobber's under. That should be a carp. That should be a carp. Nope. <laughs> it's not a carp. <laughs> oh, another crappie. An incher. Nice one, though. All right. So what we have today is we're going to be using salmonella balls. I think that's what you call it. Uh, Samolina balls. Maybe that's it. Um, but anyways, let's give them a cast out there and see if we can't catch ourselves some nice carp. And not only that, it would be our first official big carp. We did catch one yesterday, but it definitely was not very big. It was just a, I don't know, maybe like a 10 or 12 pounder or something like that. So yeah, it was only like 14 inches big, not very big. But I'm hoping that we catch something a little bigger today and maybe even a few of them. All right, so we'll throw those out there and then I got one more as well. And I feel like one of these should definitely do the trick. To be honest, I have never fished for carp in my entire life. All right, we're getting a bite. But the problem is there's several fish that like this exact same bait and they're not nearly as big as let's just say the carp. So you never know what we're going to get. Well, we got something here, but it's not very big again. Definitely not very big. Looks to be a pumpkin seed. Hey, I mean, technically it's a carp. <laughs> we got our first carp. It's a nine incher, but hey, it's our first carp of the day. Can't complain about that. 45 cash. <laughs> now, there's some common carp out here, and there's some really cool mirror-looking carp. I've actually gotten one of them in real life bow fishing in Wisconsin. And the first time I saw that thing, we were super shocked. We knew it was like an ultimate rare carp. All right, I wish I could say that this is the first time I've tried to do an intro on Fishing Planet today, but this is actually like my third different time trying to do an intro because we've tried to catch carp and I can't catch carp to save my life. So then we just spent almost every last penny that we had to try and come over here to St. Croix, Michigan. And we're going to try and catch some giant flatheads. Hey, we caught a fish. <laughs> I don't know what we caught, but we caught a fish. A yellow perch. 10 inch or not a bad sized one. Yellow perch on a spoon. I've actually done that before. It's super, super rare, but yeah, you actually can catch a perch on a spoon. But the perch has to be really, really hungry though. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Which one is it? Bobber's under the water. Fish on. Big fish. Wonder if we got a flathead here. Or... If it's a blue cat, ooh, that's probably going to be a flathead. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. And considering we've been fishing all morning and have yet to have a single fish that was over 10 inches, this is pretty exciting because this right here is a guaranteed 20 plus pound fish. Who knows how big it could be? I've caught 40, 50 pounders out here. 
All right, I see it coming up right there. It's looking like it's a catfish. It's looking like a big blue cat to me. Oh, he's still fighting. All right, he's shaking pretty hard there. But we got him coming in. You know, I wish we could have dip nets in this game. How cool would that be? Do you realize how difficult it is to try and dip a big fish by yourself though? I mean, it can be done. I've done it several times. Big walleye, big catfish, even carp. Oh, that's a big cat. You can see the huge, huge tail on it. Try and get a little closer to the edge here. Oh, he's right there. Just doesn't quite want to come up yet. I think we about have him here. Just when I said that, he goes deeper and deeper. Alright, we should have him right here, guys. We got him! Trophy blue catfish, 47 inch, 35 pound. Trophy blue cat right there. First fish of the day. First official fish. Yeah, we did catch that way pass and I caught some carp before, but they were all like 10 inches. <laughs> Here we got a 47 inch trophy blue catfish. There we go. Let's take a super epic picture of that. Oh, right there. Look at that lighting. That is incredible. And one giant sweet looking fish. Let's keep them. 1100 cash from that one fish. You took my bait, but you know what? It was totally worth it. Oh, we're getting a bump. We're getting a bump. We're getting a fish. Oh, 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 what do we got? We got something good here, guys. We got large cut bait here, so we definitely got something good. I honestly couldn't tell you what it is. It looks like a blue cat again. Ooh. Yep, it's gonna be another nice blue cat. I can see him fighting down there. Look at him shaking his head. I love how realistic that is, how they shake their head like that. Cause they definitely do that in real life as well. It's not a giant, but it's definitely a solid fish. Let's get him up here. Yeah, 38 inch, 17 pound blue cat as well. So not quite big enough to be a trophy, but another solid fish and 552 cash. I believe that was cut bait. So it's not the end of the world that we have to get another was that cut bait? Yeah, it was definitely cut bait. All right, here we go. Let's go nighttime, baby. All right, this is where we're probably gonna get some fish. I got a good feeling about this. And not only that, we got a glow in the dark bobber as well. So that should definitely help us out. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Well, this is it. If we don't get a fish now, and I don't know what to tell you. Because we don't have any money left. We're not going to be able to come back here ever again until we start to make some money. I think I have like what? 127 dollars. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, 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 wait. Stopped. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's throw this on there. Blow in the dark shad wrap. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a fish on. I don't know what it is though. Like, is it even a catfish? Like what the heck, a white bass or what? It looks like a bass. It is a bass. Smallmouth, 15 incher. My question is, what in the heck is a 15 inch smallmouth bass doing eating cut bait? I don't know. Oh, it's a shiner. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. Whoa, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, guys. He took it straight down. Oh, fish on, two fish. Oh, that's a big one, though. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this. Okay, now we're, oh my God, now we're on him. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this fish in. We might be able to. This rod is pretty tough. I might be able to get this fish in quick. Last time we got that one in. Come on, get him in. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big old flathead. Oh, it's a blue cat. Okay. Come on. We got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh, man. I don't know how we pulled that off. The only reason we did is because we had a really strong rod. This rod here isn't quite as strong as that last one, but I don't think this fish is quite as big either. But still, we got another good one on for sure. Yep, another blue cat. Here he comes. Are we going to get another one on as well? Oh, now we're starting to rack in the cash. Another fish on. Oh, another solid fish on. <laughs> This is what we've been waiting for. We got a fish at night. That's when they're hitting. We've been fishing all day and we caught like three fish. Change the time to night and we already caught three in about 15 minutes. Actually, that was about five minutes. Oh, that is not what we were looking for, but that is a 20 inch walleye. Heck yes. That's pretty sweet. That's actually really, really cool. There's a way that you can Oh, I can't do it now, I don't think, but there's a way that you can turn a light on. I don't remember how to do that, but let's keep him for now. So we caught that 20 inch walleye on a shiner. That makes sense as well. Dude, that was so much action. All of a sudden, just wham, wham, wham. So while we're sitting here waiting to try and catch another one of those big blue cats or maybe even a Mississippi bullhead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out here and try and catch a walleye. I've caught some pretty nice ones out here in the past. In fact, this is where I got my 30 incher as well. My 30 inch trophy walleye came from right out there. Oh, fish on. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I believe we might have a walleye as well. Not a bad size one. All right, let's get him up. Oh, that's going to be a walleye. Heck yeah. 22 inch walleye, there we go, 441 cash as we're sitting here waiting for a nice flathead or even a big blue cat to hit. We catch a nice 22 inch walleye. Well, let's get back out there and try and catch some more. Yeah, it's pretty cool that it only goes down three feet because then you'll be able to almost see the fish hit, right? Whereas if it goes down six feet or more, then you know, you're not really gonna see the fish hitting. There we go. Two casts, two fish. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice fish. This guy's ripping out drag, guys. That's a nice fish. Another nice walleye coming in. Get him in. Ooh, what do we catch? Ooh, a 21 inch or 3.6 pounds. These walleye give you a lot of cash. As you can see, another 386 cash there from that one walleye. Man, I love walleye fishing. This is my hot spot right here. I've caught so many nice walleyes out here. But I guess the key to catching them is you reel, stop, reel, stop, twitch, reel, stop, and then you kind of just wait for them to hit it. You know, and eventually they just pound it. In case you want to know what we're throwing right now, we're throwing this glow in the dark, glow green with the 5A sounds number two hook. 
and it goes down three feet so that's what we're throwing right here we do have a 41 pound test leader as well that's the first cast we didn't get a hit guys i'm not gonna complain though because it seems like our lures like messed up or something what the heck happened there all right let's try that again there we go So real twitch, real twitch, stop. Real twitch. Oh, there we go, another fish on. <laughs> oh man, I love this. I love this. This is so awesome. Pulling up walleye left and right. That is not a walleye, 13 inch white bass. What in the heck were you doing out there, buddy? <laughs> I gotta say, that's probably our first white bass that we've caught over in this walleye hole. Uh, in fact, I don't remember catching other, any other white bass over here. I've caught a musky, northern, and walleye, and that's it. There we go, another fish on. Oh, oh, oh. Another white bass. Jumping right out of the water, huh? And these white bass are hungry. Hungry. Another, what should be a pretty big blue cat as well. He's fighting, he's staying down deep. Ooh, this guy is not coming in very good. This might be another trophy. Actually, you know what? That is not gonna be a blue cat. That's gonna be one of those flatheads. He's coming in pretty good, look at that. Right up on top of the water. That's gonna be a flathead probably. Or is it a blue cat? Why is it coming in so good? What in the heck? It's a freaking giant, but it didn't fight very much. I don't understand why that didn't fight very much. A 52 inch, 41 pound trophy blue cat. I think that might be our biggest trophy blue catfish that we've ever caught on Fishing Planet, period. But he hardly fought at all. And I think it might be because this rod is super big. There's a good chance that might be why he didn't fight that much. Look at the slob right there. Dang, that's a tanker. Wow. That is an absolute massive, massive fish. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. It was actually extremely difficult trying to catch carp. In fact, I don't even know if we caught a decent sized one today. And then we came out here to St. Croix and we caught some pretty giant blue cats and then we caught a couple of really nice walleye but that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time